Good morning, it's Saturday the 12th of November I mean Brian are up in Glen Nevis, very dreek Glen Nevis uh, Plans today stop ban meal nan Corian uh, I've got my, my Costa in hand, early start this morning Brian picked us up at half past four uh, It's now 10 to 8 so That's the plan, I say the problem is with this time of year uh, when Danny's been rose is the amount of light you've got so I reckon we'll get 8 hours light I reckon this walk's going to take us about 6 so we can't really hang about we really need to go for it if we, we want to get back in time before it gets dark I say it's pouring the rain it is forecast to clear up later on in the afternoon but we'll see, we'll see so we're up in Glen Nevis and that's the plan catch you later Yeah, that's us on the go, quarter past eight. We've just left the car park back here. Uh, still Drake, low lying cloud and raining. But let's hope it clears up. How are you doing, Mutter? Hello. In the end? Hello? Well, somebody's left a tent. <laughs> That's that pool. Me and Brian had a dip in when we came out of a steel. I don't fancy a beginning there now. But the rain's off. <laughs> For now. Just following this path, uh, quite boggy in places, as you can expect. It's with a lot of rain recently. Uh, this is the path we came down. Me and Brian, when we finished the Ring of Steel, so it certainly wasn't boggy then. So obviously, with the amount of rain it's fell, it's quite boggy. It's actually not that cold. Pretty, it's pretty pleasant actually, but it's a bit warm because you start, we've started with our waterproofs on so you're no longer heating up 10 degrees Brian's tell me when we're at the car but it's drizzly then now and that was the forecast, drizzly but to improve throughout the day so let's hope that happens I know the last few times we've went with weather forecasts and they've, they've been completely different for what they say so fingers crossed that we get at least a wee break in the, in the weather the visibility at the top MWIS was saying 30% chance to clear top but it's looking like that now it's looking like that now probably that'll drop because it's very atmospheric looking but it's good to be I 
that's a wee view up the glen. You basically need to get up to that bee lack up there. Just in this direction, just about here. And we'll head right up onto Stob Ban. But that's quite an impressive waterfall, a lot of water coming down that. And that's our path. Boggy as hell. <laughs> I'm so glad I got the gators today. That's why. Just make your way up this path up to the Bielak still on it. But they're still a bit iffy. We were talking to a German guy there. And uh, uh, no stripey, no stripey. Uh, that's his tent in the glen with the snap pole. So he's telling us it's not last night, so at least at least he knows he's okay. That's good. But, uh, he's, he's the only, only other nutter out in the hill today. <laughs> oh, well, the rain's lashing, but you need to see it lashing. I need to pick it up on the GoPro. It's actually a lashing area. Basically, Scotland's hull is still a silly German. Only kidding. Left for Bringer's Field, it's good rain, and right for Stop Ban, where we're going. That's took us just over two hours to get here, two hours and five minutes. We're going that direction. I 
That's a better look back down the line. A bit of inversion going on down there. Smashing. Some of our first one roll, stop bang. That was good. That was good. Yeah, that was a bit mince, but the actual high cut was really good. A yeah, nice path. All the way to the summit, really. Ah, good, all good. Five minutes to get to the summit, and we've covered uh, nearly five miles 4.5 4. miles, so four and a half miles. So, uh, not too bad, uh, really, really good path all the way up. You see, we're in the clag, no views. Uh, winds come in, rain's on and off all the way, so we're going to drop down, see if we can get a shelter bit, grab a bite to eat, and then we'll go for Monroe number two of the day. Just make sure when you come out to stop ban, pick up the path. Very, very faint light in places, especially when the clag's in. Uh, you get an idea of what we're working with here. That's it there, and you can just, just faintly make it out. When you actually get off the summit, you stop and there's a few different directions. So just make sure you're, you're heading in the right one. Not a bad wee spot to have your lunch, at least we're out that wind. And the rain's off as well, so can't complain. Be nice if we had a view. <laughs> I don't know what's down there, probably Ben Nevis is out there somewhere. But uh, obviously you can't see nothing. Nothing at all. How you doing buddy? All good mate. Ah he's good, he's good. Uh, so so far so good. Uh, even with the wet the bad weather. It's, it's it's been good, really good. Enjoyed it. Enjoyed it. So we'll get this. Is that me? Superb, yeah. We'll get this down our neck and then uh, we'll get up this segment now. And a wee shout out and a thank you to my, my neighbour at work, John Sproul. Thanks for the protein bars, mate. They're much appreciated. I'm going to have this now. Thank you very much, mate. So it's all like Jurassic Park. Right, the summit cairn, and we're no number two. I forget the name yet. <laughs> I'll put it on the screen. Uh, that was a good wee walk, yeah. You're probably skirting that uh, ridge. 
about an 800 meter mark all the way around and the last wee bit you're 60 meters straight up so it was good to get up to it was good to be part of the end here just to get us get us up to the summit but i can't remember the name yet what's it called mulak nan koyan where the man said it first mulak nan koyan so it's good to be at the summit <laughs> This is at the summit, Monroe number two. That took us four hours and 45 minutes, and we've just covered over seven miles. So we're about. I checked the weather forecast uh, last night, said it to clear up at 1 o'clock, it's 5 to 1 and it's the first use we've had since uh, we got to about 700 metres, that's the first use we've had, so it's no much but uh, you can actually see down, down the valley there, it's cleared a wee bit, the sun is trying to break out a bit We'll get some good views once we come out the clag. So, that's the first real look at Stop Ban we've had today. That's it, the centre of the picture here. We walked around all that ridge, we are in there. Summit, the segment row is up, up here. We'll make our way down on this ridge here. Uh, a well defined path, you can see you can head all the way down. Uh, a bit rocky in places, just watch your footing. Aye, so far so good. So far so good. Well, 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 what can I say? Uh, we started this hike this morning in full waterproof kit and we finished it in t-shirt for the middle of November, it's absolutely crazy. Anyway, back to the walk. Uh, that was a classic today. Uh, really, really enjoyed it, regardless of the weather. Uh, we've been walking for 6 hours and 40 minutes and we've done about 10 and a half mile. So really, really good. Uh, no views or nothing at the summits, but uh, thoroughly enjoyed it. Thoroughly enjoyed it. So please like and subscribe to my channel if you've not already done so. Give me a wee thumbs up, and I'll catch you in the next one. Ben Nevis.